What's up friends of the good mood, this is Manny and welcome to my paramotor crash video where I collided with my drone in mid-flight and then I lost it. What? So yeah, sit down, lean back and enjoy the show ladies and gents. So yeah, here we are in the start preparations, of course, nicely filmed from that very drone that I'll later lose. You're also going to see the crash from the perspective of the drone. But not only that, I have a helmet camera on and as, as you see, also attached to the wing, I have a chase cam. So we're swapping, fl flip-flopping between camera perspectives right here. So let's first have a launch and enjoy, uh, enjoy the start. The thermic winds that day were strong, were really crazy, but um, I was able to still get up in the air and have some fun. And you can see now when I'm starting to fly turns, how amazingly the drone keeps its position in front, around to, to the front right of me, and uh, and tries to maintain the spot. Something that I really appreciate about this Skydio 2 drone. It is an awesome drone, and it looks amazing when it follows you. Uh, but there is a mistake I'm going to be doing in a minute <laughs> that causes it to crash into me. <laughs> So you can already start to see how I'm wobbling around in the air in the heavy thermic of the day and how the drone is having a hard time keeping up with it because I currently have a setting where I have it too close to me. If, I, if the conditions are like this, I need to send the drone further away so, from me so it has more time to adjust to my movement. But in this case, I had it too close. And the big mistake comes in a few seconds when I try to change the drone to send it further away, but accidentally hit the exact opposite button. I send it even closer to me and this is when the crash happens and the collision it comes in from the front it doesn't know what to do because it wants to get so close and uh, and my movement is uh, is very uh, erratic in these uh, winds and uh, so yeah here he comes and the drone goes up and here comes the collision but and then it was falling down for a second but it did survive uh, and uh, it probably landed in some way it must have caught itself here in the top left you can see it again from the chase cam perspective how the drone basically ricochets off the uh, wing itself and then falls down. Interestingly enough, all the wings, uh, all the pro props were still on the drone, so it must have gone down with the with the props attached to it. Uh, but at this moment, I was like, ah, where's it? Because on the display of the remote, I saw that it says emergency landing, and I was like, come on, don't do it, don't emergency land, because I didn't know what happened. And then I saw it on the ground, it was laying in the field. So with heavy thermic, I was landing in, and the wind coming from the front was so powerful that I basically, uh, I could just step onto the ground no problem. And my f my chase cam was flying in the wind without me moving forward. That's how strong the frontal wind was. So that's pretty insane. Let me just show you how I found the drone later because I had to step all the way over there and get to the drone. Um, and uh, yeah, so again, it was laying on the ground as you see right here. The props were, two of them were detached. They were next to it. The other two were still on it. So I'm not sure if it landed on two props and then fell, the others fell off as it touched the green. I'm not sure exactly how it worked, but one thing is for sure, this thing has survived, no problem, it it filmed the material, and I, I can go out flying with it again. It's just that, um, that collision, it was my own mistake, that's something that I have to say. It was too close to me for these wind, wind conditions, I should have sent it like 20 meters away or something, then it would have been no problem, right? It would have had enough time to adjust to my movement changes, uh, my sporadic movement changes, I have to say. Uh, but in this case, it was too close, and then instead of sending it further away, I pressed the wrong button and I sent it even closer. And that's when it started to crash. So, my mistake here, I'm trying, I'm never gonna have that mistake again. If the winds are uh, like this, I'll have it further away rather than too close, because I don't want to collide with this thing. Um, but I still, I still feel, felt like sharing this with you, because it isn't a very inter interesting topic. Uh, and, and this thing creates insanely awesome video footage. Footage I've never seen anybody show on YouTube, because this is really something 
very special to get yourself filmed flying paramotor with this thing. And these three camera perspectives, awesome. Tell me what you think about this video, ladies and gents, and uh, whatever thoughts you may have. Thank you for watching. Have a good one. Manny, signing off. Until next time. Bye-bye.